As is usual during this time of year, the Pope set some time aside for an official visit. A year ago, around this same time, he visited France. The year before, he went to Austria. And in 2006, he visited his native Germany. This year, it's Eastern Europe's turn as he makes his way to the Czech Republic. He's coming to the Czech Republic, but uh, as far as I, I, I'm informed, there are thousands of pilgrims coming from the Slovak Republic, from Poland, from Hungary, from Austria. One of the more important parts of the trip is his meeting with representatives of academia. The ambassador says the message the Pope is bringing to his country is meant for Catholics and non-Catholics alike. His Holiness is coming, the whole population of the Czech Republic, not just the Catholic population. So I do believe that uh, my, my uh, fellow compatriots will, will take this, this opportunity and will go to, 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 to see His Holiness, not just to see him, but uh, first of all to listen to him and uh, will think about his words. On September 28th, Benedict will celebrate the feast of St. Wenceslaus in Stara Boleslav, where the saint was killed. The ambassador says that ultimately it will be the message that the Pope brings to his country that will be the measure of the trip's success. The concrete, the concrete uh, value, the concrete result, it's the follow-up. It's the question what the, the visit will bring to the country, how the country will respond, not just in terms of hospitality, but in terms of how far my nation, my country, my fellow, fellow uh, counterparts are ready to learn from His Holiness' words. When the Pope arrives in Prague on September 26, it'll be the sixth European trip he makes, and the 13th as Pontiff. John Paul II visited the country three times during his papacy.